Greetings, fellow adventurers. You are watching Gamer's Haven, where each episode is a journey through the wondrous realm of the human imagination. I am your host, the Curious Wanderer, and this is Witcher 3, Part 24. The entire Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, and sent her on her way to Novigrad. Although that little sequence there... ...is, uh, well... Get inside Four Sons' hideout. I find it interesting it used that loading sequence when, uh... I'm past that part in the game. What exactly am I doing here? Side for some spider. Honor in the father, lad. What? Oh, it takes a barber. Sounds delightful. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Yeah? And you're next. I believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. Too easy. Search the guards' bodies. Here we go. Guess you'll never be getting that fleshy diversion you mentioned. Oh, now I've got to fight all these. Ugh, I hate the archers. Crossbow users, whatever. Shit your pants already, big boy! Yes, he did kill him! Son Junior's residence. Ho! Right at the top of these stairs is that a glitch? Yes, it is a glitch. Hmm. And this guy. for here. Alchemist powder, okay. 
Old sheepskin? Why would I want an old sheepskin? Oh my gosh, there's loot everywhere. Locked. None of those keys I pilfered will do the trick. Uh, and there's no upstairs to this place, is there? Nope. When it says searches residence, does that mean it's a collection of buildings, I guess? Ah! It is really dark in here. Smoking pipe, cured leather, blunt crossbow, rusty Novigrad sword. I don't want any of that stuff. Also locked. A bestiary. That could be useful. Maybe. I don't know. At the door we go again. Dwarven spirit always appreciated. What do we got here? Bell and longsword. And uh, this is where I came in, weren't it? Yeah, okay, so... Search his residence. Hest, Dwarven Spirit, Tamarian Rye. I've been in here, haven't I? Yeah, I have. That door's locked. Oops. Got a new mouse here, and I'm not quite used to it yet. Been in here. Ooh, look at that. There's an upstairs. Maybe I'll find what I'm looking for up here. Fucking degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Is that what I think it is? A dead person strung up by their arms. Wow. What the sandwich fuck is this? <laughs> well deserved. No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Killed all your guards. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what? what do you want? 
Uh, let's talk first. I'll kill you later. Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. I can't wait to kill this guy. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the <coughs> truth. I want to know why. I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. His hair getting in front of his face is bugging me. Uh, I don't know if, if any of you guys have played uh, the uh, Tomb Raider reboot or its sequel, Rise of the Tomb Raider, but the tress effects in the first Tomb Raider and then the pure hair in the Rise of the Tomb Raider looks so much better than this stuff. Anyway, that is completely off topic. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? The girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Rubin's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. I don't care if Geralt would regret his actions. Uh, if, th if the option comes up, I am killing that guy. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. I can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Pull Get yourself a grip, together. Dandelion. We must focus on the task at hand. I'm just saying. Well, then be silent. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doo Doo? Room on the top floor, one with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. <laughs> in that they, outfit? If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Look inconspicuous in that outfit? Ha 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 Ah, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, yep, let's go. Come on, Siri, I thought you were more agile than this. Uh, let's... Da, da, da. I think I can get up this way, yep. On the top floor. One with the balcony. Uh, little bit of roof hopping. Alrighty. Uh, oops. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. It's locked. Enter through the window. I can open that window, and but now, I my dear Dodo, any others? 
I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. Yeah, sure. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Let's F him up. Okay. Where's Ruvid's treasure? I got you, little whore. Ah, uh, you are bugging me. An eye for an eye. They're coming. Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. This whore is going to kill all of you. Killed all of these guys, and I guess he just managed to hire more people. I've always thought that Siri was overpowered. And she actually gains more abilities as the game goes on. Or rather, That's what happened. we get Tell access to abilities she already has. Let me put it that way. Doo doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Brick vanished. There, one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserve. Have mercy. Please. No mercy for you. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Justice for Siri, for Dudu, for these people. A disgusting monster. Dead. Like he should be. The thing is, though, uh, Witcher 3, this is the kind of game where you can make choices and then later on 
you see the results of those choices long after you made them. So I kind of wonder, if I had left him alive, how would that have affected things going forward? Um, if you recall, early on in one of the uh, episodes I uploaded, I created a Witcher potion and gave it to a woman who was on the verge of dying. And uh, I found out later on, and I didn't record it, but I found out later on she survived, but because of how the potion affected her, her mind was basically gone. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenfurt Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. That's the ship funny. Was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A when I saw the moment, patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. It's weird. When I first met Radovid in that building, I had my weapons on me. Now I have to leave him behind? So, what? Is he paranoid about his safety or not? Hello, Radovid. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends, reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. Parted ways? You gathered them in one place, then gave the order to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they had once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain Witcher revealed that the Lodge was behind the Regicides. The mages proved to be traitors. While the Witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Those boats in the background, right there. Such muddy, blurry textures. What happened? Uh... Where are the boats? Can I see them from here? Uh, it doesn't matter. So, uh... Wow, there's uh, no... There's no quest being tracked. Rudini's most wanted. Uh... A favor for Radovid. Plays the thing. Destination Skellige. Find a boat headed to Skellige. Um. Radovid wants me to bring him Philippa Eilhart.
<laughs> Tell Priscilla what you've learned about Dudu. Let's uh, let's go with this one, actually. Uh, uh, like I've said previously, I'd like to try and tie up his. Uh, so we've got Velen right here. Up here is the city of Novigrad. Uh, I really want to try and tie up as many loose ends in Velen as possible before going to Skellige. So, find out if Siri is in Velen, find out if Siri is in Novigrad. Uh, pursuing that objective would involve this mission, the play's a thing. So, we're gonna keep on going with this. Uh, we'll get to Skellige eventually. Uh, let's see, I need to get off this boat. Back on the rock. Be nice. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. All right. Uh, so. This is where I am, and uh, goodness gracious, that is a long way. Uh, let's see, go for the nearest fast travel marker. Mm -hmm. Hierarch Square. And we're off to talk to Priscilla. Uh, let's check this out quick. We've got a, an exclamation point here. So this fellow. An invitation to the Memorial Derby. What's this? Take heed one and all, citizens of the free city of Novigrad and foreigners alike. The venerable Vagelbud family has the honor of inviting you to the annual Great Erasmus Vagelbud Memorial Derby. We welcome both spectators and contestants wishing to take part in the races. As it is every year, the derby will be held on the grounds of the Vagelbud's residence. Seek out the master of the races with any and all questions. Right. I'm not too interested in horse racing, so I, I'm unlikely to pursue that. Let's look for Priscilla, and of course, she's upstairs. Even with the war on, they still managed to procure fine whatever. The litter is the same, but the There we go. Hello. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion moved to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but his home. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu Long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume <laughs> Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu do not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> we need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? 
Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we ah. can use You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. I really wanted to click the the bottom option before the top one, that last dialogue choice, but oh well. Uh, they don't really have an effect on the game, they just reveal additional information, uh, like this one. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see, we'll have a grand time together. <laughs> Alright, guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Uh, let's make him smart. Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know, Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else she comes let's up with. Let's keep thinking. That seems a bit... Too fresh? Right you are. Wait, give me a minute. I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavera. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? <laughs> Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. <laughs> we need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation, and A Changeling Rescued or the Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? <laughs> Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. This one's a little awkward in my opinion. <clears throat> Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Exactly. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. <laughs> um... Oh. Let's go with... Uh, man, I don't remember what I chose last time. 
Let's do comedy. I think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. <laughs> Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? <laughs> what? Just <keep> quiet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but you fell asleep. We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message. You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or that wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. All right. So, uh, this has gone on a little longer than I meant for it to. I didn't know the dialogue between uh, Geralt and Priscilla would be that long. But uh, this concludes this uh, 24th episode of my playthrough. And uh, uh, thank you very much for checking out my channel. If you enjoyed what you saw here, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share all that good stuff. I'm your host, The Curious Wanderer, and I will see you on the next adventure. Happy gaming, everyone.